think the bosses that I are have these dragon things as their mini bosses happen to be my favorite bosses for some reason. It just that just now occurred to me. Say this is my favorite boss. Maybe in the whole series, and I know that's a lot to say about a character, but I just think it's kind of cool how they go to pains to reference the first game, actually. That's right. The guy called Phantom, one of the, uh, shoot, I can't even remember the name of them, the four Guardians of X or whatever, from the first game, was this guy's mentor. He doesn't even, wa he doesn't even want to work for a wheel, he just wants revenge against Zero personal thing. So yeah. Favorite boss. Even though he's way too easy to kill. Push on you with uh, Flame Fang. There we go. And we get the Ice Javelin. Which leaves just the non-elementals for me to get rid of. Um, I'm actually going to... Gosh. I don't really want to do this at this time, but yeah, I think Ice Javelin is still my favorite, just for coolness reasons, but uh, I don't think I want my elves firing stuff off constantly here, even though it's Still kind of a lot to deal with in terms of enemies. It will just go painfully slow if I uh, leave those on and I'll explain why once I get to that particular point. level rather. Shouldn't take very long. Yeah, see? That's, this is just one way to deal with those. They grow back, but um, another way, however, as you can see, I got rid of them by attacking them with my saber wasn't intentional, but um, if you hit them with fire, however, they will do a typical, you know, burning for a few seconds animation, and then they'll you know, burn up and go away. There are a lot of these vines here, so I'd rather just oh, tear them out with my fists of fury. There are a lot of enemies here, yeah. Oh well. Besides, I prefer to fight a lot of these 
these battles are just getting too easy for me. That's another thing. Since I already know the strategies so well, I'd rather just use them than just be super cheap. I mean, I'm already pretty cheap. has, in a lot of ways, advantages over the original easy mode. Namely, let's see, in the original easy mode you cannot get EX skills. Your elves only go up to level 5 as opposed to level 7. Um, you have to earn the chips from scratch. I think that's pretty much it. And the only downside of this is that it doesn't give you automatic protection from the spikes. But since it gives you a chip that does so for free, nothing wrong with it. And we get a sub tank. Now if you don't have double jump, you could have uh, gotten rid of that purple helicopter thing and then just grabbed onto the propeller which has a handle below it for some strange reason and it'll just fly you right up there. And that was the sound of that third sub tank going up. I probably will not use these sub tanks now. That um, I'm in the easier realms of the game. And I have every, almost every EX skill. One thing. And I actually consider this to be one of the easier levels, but I really wanted to just go straight into all the elemental stuff because I don't know, I don't usually use this particular EX skill. I don't think it's I wouldn't say it's useless. That is one thing you, cool thing you get out of this uh, running slash electric EX skill is that it sends sparks across the floor if you hit a wall, which is pretty useful in this particular battle, since she clings to the ceiling like that, and the floor and everywhere, and getting close to her is generally not recommended. As is the case with most bosses, but I, you know, oftentimes you just have to. Da 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 da, okay. And get, got the Sky Chaser. Now for the last regular boss, which is Ironically, that first guy that we saw. And we called him a grunt. If you recall. He's actually not that hard. And if it wasn't... Mainly, if it wasn't for the chip that... Let me not die from spikes. 
this would be a very difficult level. Oh shoot! Can't escape at this time. Dang it! I just realized this is the wrong weather pattern. See, the snow is all over the spikes. So yeah, I'm not going to get the EX kill. Oh well, that's kind of the norm for the game. Is me, or I mean, the, you know, the series, the collection in general. The norm of the game is for me to not get the EX kill. The norm of this game is to get them all for me. And the one that you get from this, I also consider pretty useless. It's a blaster skill that basically it hits it's called the time stopper but it does not by any means stop time or freeze the enemy in place for any amount of time and it just hits them and a big box I, well on impact a big box just appears and you know the edges kind of hurt anything that's inside of it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a square. Basically, once it hits, it kind of just expands into an area of effect, but for that, you can have this, for that same thing, you can have this little bugger. Barely even see it. Whereas the other one does hang around for a bit, so that's kind of a useful thing, but anyway. I don't know, I don't understand why you have to rip these out exactly, but I know that the point is to disable this tower. I guess they're, like, important ships that it needs, but that's the case, why wouldn't it get disabled after you removed like one or two of them? Huh. <laughs> Guess they're all... Maybe they're like redundancy, they're all backups for each other or something. Also, if you... I'm pretty sure that if you are in the lower part of the thing of that tower when you're done with it, which is kind of an illogical order to uh, pull stuff out in, you'll be underground and you'll have take an alternate pathway. But it just confer it converges with the main pathway right around here, so it's not like there's a major difference or anything. What was that noise? <sighs> okay. Whoa. Mm -hmm. You do. Wow, I'm getting pretty good at this actually. <laughs> Never thought I would. Guess time has just done that for me. <laughs> <laughs> 